in previous video we saw how to use slots in intent while creating alexa skill you can check out that video by clicking on top right corner in this video we are going to see how to create alexa skill for audio streaming so let's start in this video basically i am going to create a skill called music cloud so when user says alexa ask music cloud to play then our skill will return a response with the metadata of song like songs url thumbnail of song then alexa will start playing that song so let's move to the amazon developer portal and create a skill this is amazon developer console for creating alexa skill let's create a new skill i will keep a name as a music cloud So invocation name for our skill is a music cloud so let's create one intent in order to build the interaction model keep the name as a music cloud so add some few utterances I think two utterances are enough for the testing. So let's save the model. So let's configure the interfaces for our skill. As we are using the audio player, we need to enable it. Now save the interface. Now add the endpoint for our skill. I will select the AWS Lambda. Now we need to provide the AWS Lambda URN here. So for that we need to configure the AWS Lambda into the AWS Management Console. So let's go there and configure it. For that we need a skill ID. So just copy it. So this is AWS Management Console so search for the lambda click on create function give the name then select the environment as java 8 and keep the role as basic execution create function Now add the trigger for lambda. In our case, this is Alexa skills kit. Now provide the skill ID here. And click on save. Now copy the lambda here in. And we need to provide it to the skill. And paste here. Save the endpoint. Now our interaction model is uh, ready to build. So let's build the model. So now build is successful. So now we can go to the Eclipse and write the implementation for our skill. So for implementing Alexa skill for audio streaming, what we need to do is write a simple class which implements speech lit with to interface. And then we need to implement different method. One of them is on session started. This method is gets invoked when Alexa session is started. And second one is on launch. 
this method is gets invoked when the Alexa skill is gets triggered for the first time. Uh, in this method, you can send the welcome response. And in case I am simply returning the message, welcome to music cloud. And uh, another one is on intent. This method is gets invoked for for different type of uh, intent request. And uh, last one is on session ended. This one gets invoked when the session is ended. So main method in which we need to write our main logic is on intent method. So in this method, this method gets invoked for different type of intents. So suppose when user says Alexa ask music cloud to play then that gets mapped with the music cloud intent and then it will trigger this method and uh, with the intent name music cloud so then we need to return a response which should uh, stream the audio on the alexa so let's see what kind of response we need to send to the alexa you can see it is a simple json format with some key value pair the first one is uh, type so in type you can give uh, three different values like uh, audio player dot play you need to specify this value when you want to play the audio then uh, audio player dot stop you can specify this value when you want to stop the current playing audio then last one is a uh, audio player dot clear queue this one is needed when you want to uh, clear the current queue so the next one is play behavior this one is used for handling the playback behavior on the device so you can specify three different values here first one is replace all if you use this one it will immediately begin playback of the specified stream and replace the current and in queued stream second one is in queue when you use this value it will add the specified stream to the end of the current queue and does not impact the currently playing stream third one is the replace in queue when you use the value this will replace all the stream in the queue and does not impact the current playing stream next comes the audio item object this one contains the information related to the audio which we want to stream and it also contains two object like stream this one is mainly contains the information related to the stream like url you need to specify the url here then comes token you need to specify unique token which represents the stream then comes expected previous token this is a token which represents the previous stream so we need to provide this value only when we need to enqueue the stream otherwise you can send it as a null then comes offset in millisecond this specifies when you want to play the audio stream you can specify the value here so next comes the metadata this one represent the different information you want to display on the device like title of the song subtitle then art image then background image so this is the format which we need to send to the device so for creating a format like this what i have done is i have created a instance of play directive class then uh, set the play behavior as a replace all and then audio item information uh, through the class uh, my audio item so this is a pojo class which i have created which extends the audio item class and uh, which contains the stream pojo class for adding the stream information then uh, i have added the metadata class for adding the metadata information then i am setting all the information here like uh, stream url and uh, offset in millisecond time and uh, setting the expected previous token as null and uh, setting the token as a zero string then uh, also adding the metadata as a title and subtitle then uh, image url here then i am just returning the list of play directives through the method get directives so now let's check where we are using this while returning the final response 
So for creating a final response, what here I'm doing is creating an instance of speech let response and then setting the directives through the get directive method and then uh, setting the output speech through the class plain text output speech and setting the text as a playing shape of you. Here I am combining the uh, both directives and output speech together. So when this response gets uh, transmitted to the Alexa device, it will first uh, speak the text which is mentioned which is mentioned in the plain text output speech and then start the playing the audio. So this is the final response which I am returning when the uh, music cloud intent is getting invoked for the intent request. So now let's uh, create the entry point for our lambda function. So for creating entry point for our lambda function, what we need to do is create a simple class. In our case, it is a music cloud request stream handler, which extends the speech let request stream handler. Then we need to create one constructor for the class and inside the super method, we need to provide the instance of music cloud speech let with the supported uh, application IDs. So the support supported application IDs are set of skill IDs which we are using. In our case, it is the skill ID of our skill. You can copy that, uh, you can copy it from here and paste it here. So now our code is ready to deploy into the Lambda function for testing. So let's uh, build the jar. Now our jar is ready. Let's deploy it. Once our Lambda function is ready, we can test our skill. So now our Lambda function is ready. Let's go and test our skill. Shape of you. So now you can see here, uh, there is small pop-up which is saying that audio player is currently unsupported namespace so this online simulator doesn't support the testing for audio player so what i will do here is test our skill through android app so there is one android app called uh, river for alexa skill so let me project that app here so this is the app which i was talking about which is a river for amazon alexa So when you first time open it, it will ask you for the sign-in. You can use your Amazon account for the sign-in. So now this will act as Alexa for us. So now, so now let's uh, test our skill here. Alexa, ask Music Cloud to play. Playing shape of you. So now you can see it has started the playing song and small playback controller has appeared and there is a button for playing the ne next song and previous song and also to pause the song 
but we haven't uh, written code for handling this maybe in next uh, tutorial i will cover to handle this playback controller so guys this was the video for simply demonstrating how to create alexa skill for audio streaming and if you like the video please hit the like button and leave some comments below and thanks for watching this video Taxi.